everybody, what's up? My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am styling my console media cabinet. I am going to take you through five easy keys on how to really scale up your console table, sideboard table, media cabinet, whatever it is that you have at home that you really want to bring some focus and some attention to and really scale it up. These five keys are super easy. So if you're interested in hearing about these tips, then just keep watching this video. All right guys, so the first tip that I have for you is to consider height. I love pulling um, plants and statues and lamps and books, things that are tall and um, can create, that you can stack and create symmetry and shape. Those are the kind of things that I like to start pulling and um, reserving so that when I'm getting ready to organize and style things, I have things of different heights. So make sure that you're pulling things of all different heights. Don't get a whole bunch of small little things. We want to create kind of symmetry. We want to create the eyes to go all the way up and see the whole picture. So the second key I like to consider is color. Now many of you know that I have a very neutral color palette. You know there was a time in my life where I had purple and green and hot pink in my decor. I wish I would have kept some of those pictures because you guys would not even believe how my house, how I used to decorate before. So I had a hot pink dining room. I know. I wish I found those pictures. I wish I can find some pictures to prove to you that there is no right or wrong way in design, guys. I made it work. It was super, what would I even call that? Mm, very eclectic, let's just say. Um, you know, whatever colors that you are drawn to, keep it to two to three colors. It really starts to speak sophistication. When there's too many colors, I mean, by all means, I've seen people do lots of colors and still keep things elegant, but it's, it's a lot trickier. So I really love keeping colors, two to three colors max, you know, for any design space. And um, otherwise, after that, it just really starts to be a little bit too overwhelming. You want the focus really to be on the entire design and not all the colors. So, but again, if you love those colors and that's what you want, and by all means, you can add all the colors of the rainbow you want. Okay, so my third tip would be to consider adding texture. So textures we can find by adding baskets, florals, wood trays, wood sculptures, anything that has texture, you want to maybe add a little touch of that. So texture is so important because it really helps to break the monotony of the other elements that are in the design space. You know, texture just adds so much warmth and it adds a real home feel to the space. And I love adding my personal touches of texture with floral arrangements. Like I love um, large twigs and large branches. And um, I also love to bring in wooden trays or marble trays, anything that has that, that element of nature into my space. I really, really love that. I love how it just adds a little touch of outdoors inside your space. And you know, you guys can do texture in, there's so many ways that you can add texture, but personally for me, I really love adding the florals. I love adding branches, um, little baskets, um, even old vessels. Um, there's so many ways you can add texture to your space. One more tip and that is to consider lighting. 
I feel that, you know, regardless of what, wherever this space is, wherever your console or where your sideboard table is, wherever it is in the room, we want to reflect light. Light actually brings the elegance and ties it all together. If you're really gonna go out, you know, and, and do this, you can get some sconces and have it hardwired into your wall. I love that Restoration Hardware does that. I've seen, I've been very drawn to the sconces that are on their console tables. They are hardwired, so you would need to get a an electrician inside your home to do that. And if all else fails, you cannot use lights. You don't want to use lights. You can also incorporate light by using mirrors and metallics. Personally, I am in love with gold and bronze um, sculptures and vases and anything metallic. I'm very drawn to gold, so I love to bring gold accents and metallics have reflection, so they, they bounce light off. And you can also do that with mirrors. So if you want it to, you can put a mirror in the center of the room. It reflects and bounces light. You can have metallics um, on your table as your accent pieces. So however you decide to bring light into your space, this is just one of the options. Again, you can use lamps, mirrors, or metallic. things you probably already have at home and if you don't have a lot of these items you can inexpensively pick them up at home goods or home sense or kirkland's or target zara home amazon home there are a just a list of places that are very inexpensive where you can pick up home decor for a fraction of the price and make it look super high end guys that is what i'm all about i love making my home look super high end and really buying things from like antique shops and vintage stores, thrift stores, home goods. You know, guys, that is, that is what I do. And I feel like that is what you guys appreciate most from my channel, that I'm able to do a lot of these things myself and really cut the budget down, you know, sourcing these things from these kind of stores. So until next week, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.